European, European tea, layout tea layout part one. I'm gonna show you how to make this pattern precisely. This pattern or this tea is being used nowadays more often in chemical and industrial plant. Let's grab our measurements. Our length is gonna be nine and our width is gonna be 14. As well, we're gonna need our circumference. We're gonna make a left and right angle we're gonna grab half of your circumference and make a quadrant like this. Once we make that quadrant, we're gonna divide that quadrant in four equal parts. Let's make sure we are being precise and dividing that quadrant. It's very important. What we're gonna do next is graph half our length measurement once we do this breakdown, which is seven. Mark it across our quadrant at seven. Once you mark that, we're gonna make, we're gonna square it going up. And that same line, you're gonna mark your full length measurement, which is nine. We're gonna mark it at nine. At that mark at nine, you're gonna square going right. Also, you're gonna square the top of your quadrant line like this next you're gonna graph and freeze the coffers again and you're gonna put it on the top right corner and make another quadrant like this divide that same quadrant and four equal parts now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna square our first quadrant like this, our equal parts like this. Our second quadrant, we're gonna square them vertically all the way to the length line, which is number nine, to the top line up there. Next, we're gonna number our lines, one through five on the first quadrant, and one through five on the second quadrant on top. We're gonna match those line number with the bottom line numbers. And once we match it, we're gonna square them like this. One with one, two with two, three, three with three, four with four, and scribe like this. Next is gonna be the transferring measurements. Transferring this measurement is gonna give us the pattern to make the big picture of the full layout. This is the lines that we're gonna need. We're gonna start with this line and I'm gonna show you next how to do it exactly. We're gonna make a left angle. Up the line, we're gonna pull full, the full length. Across the bottom line, we're gonna put half of our width line, width measurements. Divider number one is gonna have one of the equal parts like this open. At the mark of the, of the width measurement, you're gonna give divider number one and make a, a scribe line like this. And also at the top, once you make the scribe line, make sure you square your line across like this in an angle. Now we're gonna open your divider from line number one on top to line number two at the bottom and put it like this. Intersecting with the other line that you made right here. That's gonna be your line number two, mark number two. Now we're gonna open your divider from line two to line two. And put and say your divider here on line two and make another mark on top next to one, intersecting the line that you make with your divider number one. Use the same divider on number one and intersect or make a scribe like this. Open your divider from line two to line three and set your divider on line two on top intersecting with line three in the bottom. Now you can open your divider to line three, line three, and set it on, on the bottom of line three intersecting with the line on top next to two. This your divider number one with the same uh, scribe right here. 
just gonna make a small scribe. You're not moving that divider, you're opening or closing. Open your divider from line three to line four and put it at the top and intersect with the mark you had at line four. Now open it from line four to line four and intersect with the line you had next to line three. This is your divider number one again, making that scribe. Don't forget to make that scribe so you can meet that intersection. Open your divider from line four to line four to line five, I'm sorry, and make a scribe. Now open your divider from line five to line five and make another scribe like this. Here are your line five. We're gonna scribe it like this. Now what we're gonna do next is connect our, our marks for one through five with a French curve ruler. And this is our pattern that we're gonna use for the big pictures. Stay tuned for part